Hey everybody, it's Mustang of Old. As you have no doubt already seen, the Mo is open. That would be the Metro Oberon. Thank you, Raving Lunatic and Casey Moon, for all the work you put in. This place looks amazing. Today, Alchemy Girl and myself are going to work on our outgoing train line. We've decided to combine our lines, so we'll only be using one outgoing line. We're going to use two stations in a corner, one to leave the line or leave the train station, one to come back in. This build was inspired, I believe, by the old train or subway station from Montreal. So we're going to try and come up with a design that doesn't contrast too much with it. Alchemy Girl is a lot more creative than I am when it comes to decorating and matching a theme. So I'm going to have some input on it, but for the most part, I will leave that up to her. I will try to figure out some of the mechanics that we're going to need and go hunting for supplies for the most part. We have a plan. We are going to power the system using redstone lamps with redstone dust on top of them. Underneath the lamp on the bottom is a lever. So that'll let us power the rails. We're going to use prismarine brick and sea lanterns in the underground portion in the rails to show that it's partially my build. And then we will be adding in a bunch of stone and dark oak as those are items that alchemy tends to build with. For when we reached the surface I found several interesting subway pedestrian access points from assorted train systems around the world. So we're going to build something similar to those. However, our line isn't going to stop at the surface. What we're going to do is continue climbing straight up into the sky to a height of approximately 90 or 95. That will give us an excellent view. It'll also allow us to mob proof the access point into the station. So this is the surface. It's really impressive looking, isn't it? Okay, I make most of my structures out of dirt to ensure that they're going to function the way I expect, and then I replace the blocks with the appropriate materials. So that's what I'm going to be doing now. These are the last blocks I'm pulling out from the interior of this portion of the build. So now my surface portion of the station is completed. We'll continue working on continuing the track up into the sky. It appears I spoke too soon. I've actually built this one block too short. I'm going to have to push this wall out one block forward so that I can actually fit a lever in on the um, redstone lamp above my head and power the rails on the ramp that goes into the sky. Last couple of blocks have been put in. Wall has been moved. Add my lever. Done. Now I head up to put the redstone on. Because I'm above ground now, I'm not continuing on with the prismarine brick. So now we're going to continue building the uh, rail staircase to the top. This is how I've had to put in all of the levers so far. That's going to be easier than what I'm going to do next. This is also the top. So this is getting a redstone 
lamp going into this location because this is going to have what I'm going to call a support pillar from the ground up. I don't mind free floating, but Alchemy figures it looks a little weird, and I kind of agree with her in this case. So, we're going to have support pillars wherever we're going to have a light, which is going to provide the power for our powered rails. Also helps that there are two powered rails here, because that way you're going to pick up some speed once you finish that climb. And now I wear out my shift key, laying in the uh, track bed. Spacing on these pillars is going to be quite extreme, and I hate working at heights because I have a tendency to fall. I will give you an update when I am able. Short update, Alchemy has finished up work on the interior for the moment. She has joined me outside and has been assisting with the track in the sky. Right now we're putting in our first support pillar and we're going to try and figure out a design that will work for us. Uh, and we're also going to try and add in something to indicate that I'm a part of this build. So most likely a sea lantern is going to go in here one or two of them. That'll be a decent complement to the stone and the brick that we're using. So here is a view of the exterior of my build on the surface. Hopefully that looks like something that matches up with a classic train or mine station. Now, I'm going to go for a little ride. We haven't finished it completely, but we're getting close. We've got it out to a station out near Alchemy's base. So that's the final support pillars, what they look like. Return track comes in here. We haven't quite finished the interior of the tunnels yet. I'm right up against another build at the moment, so <laughs> it's real tight in town. Unfortunately, with the layout of this design, it was set up for individual bases to have their own rail line each. So, if I modify this, I have to keep it with the theme, and I don't want to have anything vi uh, visible, which means I'll have to go down a level and ensure that a uh, dropper or that a hopper will feed into a dropper below this dropper or dispenser so it can fire upwards with the push of the button. But for now, I hate these things. Every time I manage to clip up just wrong. This is what Alchemy came up with for the interior. I like it. So here comes our ramp upwards. Have not completed the interior on this yet. Pattern should continue. View of Oberon. I've spaced these out quite a bit. I believe they're 40 or 45 apart, making it a nice, gentle ride at about 7 meters a second, as opposed to the max speed of 8. And this is a switching station that Alchemy has built. Her track will continue on this way and lead out past our old base out to her new base. We're going right over top of Red Garion's old base. He, uh, we spoke to him. It should be fine. So my station is going to run straight out into the ocean and out to my base. 
Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great night.